Hello everybody, welcome to top eight for Street Fighter V here at Frosty Faustings. I'm James Chen and I am here alongside 13th place finisher, Mr. Ultra David here at the event itself. How's it going? I mean, I couldn't even tell you. I don't know. I've uh, expressed it better in tears than I did in words earlier. It was just awesome to be part of something that I love so much. Felt like I couldn't do for 11 years. Since then, obviously, I've been commentating. That's been a blast. But it has really been something that I've missed to be able to play oh. at a reasonable level. And well, I'm very excited to have done that here. Uh, and very excited that the players who made it into top eight were all very deserving. I was happy for them. They all played great. Looking forward to it. Well, I was hoping I wouldn't be able to commentate with you, you know, because you were in the top eight. I mean, look, you know? if I had won one more, <laughs> if I had won one more, I would have had to DQ myself anyway so that I could do this. So it all worked out. Yeah, it all worked but, out. All right. I mean, look, uh, Thanks, man. honestly, I I, 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 at, <laughs> at heart, all of us here are competitors, right? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, I mean, if I could be a top player right now instead of commentating, probably would rather do that. We but, have both often said that. Yeah. So. So, all right. Well, look, we are here <laughs> commentating. Let's, enough of us. Let's talk about... Street Fighter V Top 8 and oh, what we're going to see here. We have a really interesting Top 8. we got players from many places. Of course, we're Midwest-centric in terms of the focus of players, as makes sense here in the Midwest. Just a Kid versus Cold Pipe is where we're starting off. If you did not watch the Top 24, you might have missed Cold Pipe absolutely killing it with a character that you might not expect. <laughs> that, of course, is the supposed worst character in the game. I mean, Zangief. is Zangief even in the game? I remember seeing Chris CCH's, you know, uh, uh, tier list. Yeah. And Zangief wasn't even on there. He so. took a vacation. He's waiting until Street Fighter 6. <laughs> no, no, he's here. He's here. And not only that, but he played V-Trigger 2 Zangief versus Wash Your Hands' Cody. Very strong Cody player. Okay. Um, so we'll see if he does that again. Yeah. Jury for Just a Kid, of course. And I think... Many of us believe that Just a Kid is probably the favorite to take this thing. Yeah, He's for sure. Very for sure. strong player. He'll be at a little event called Capcom Cup <laughs> in about yeah, a week. Yeah, he's a, he's a qualifier, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, honestly, that just means all the pressure is on him because if he can't win Frosty Faustings, Ooh, you know. Boy. So, you know. But honestly, you know, knowing Just a Kid, you know, having talked with him a bunch of times, I don't know if this kid knows anything about Panic. You know, he always seems so calm. He always seems so collected. And he's got that standing medium kick, but let's see if Cold Pipe busts out a tons of storm at any point in time. <laughs> it's again V-Trigger 2 that he's gone with. Yes. Mm -hmm. An unusual pick. It's been buffed a few times over the years, but still, standard for Geeks is V-Trigger 1 in almost every match. So cool that he's here. Especially against Jury, too, because she, she does have the projectile as well. Yeah. V-Trigger 1 might have been really useful, but, you know, Cold Pipe, I mean, look at this. He's yeah. managing he's legit, so man. His footsies are really strong. Yeah, that's plus. So Just a Kid escapes. Yeah. Again, this corner position is where Cold Pipe wants to be. And as a grappler, you don't care how much damage you're taking as long as you can get that sequence at the end. But Just the Kid has turned it around very, very much. He did a great job at pushing his opponent back to mid-screen and then really playing safety first Round after that. Two, right. Not committing at all. Right. Oh, check the dash forward right there from Cold Pipe. And again, as you mentioned, Cold Pipe's footsie's really good. I love the variety of buttons that he uses. Yeah, I know. Oh! <laughs> Just a kid maybe taking advantage a little Woo! bit of the uh, priority system that gets crush countered. Okay! Party time. Oh, oh, wow. He wants corner. Oh, yep. He's got it. He can link. And he goes for grab. Oh, that's a stun. That's a stun. That's and a that stun. is going to be that. And there you see one of the advantages of having V-Trigger, too, is you do get the V-Trigger cancel oh, into plus frames, right? right? Yeah, it's not a bad V-Trigger. It's not the common pick, in, at least in most matchups. But yeah, it's a, it's a fun one, and it's a pretty good one. And, and, and you know, honestly, I don't know if it's a properly explored one either. So, you know, having someone like Cold Pipe, who's obviously played with it for a very long time, yeah. will definitely be able to show us some cool stuff with it. Nice. Hey. Yeah, see, like, I don't need V-Trigger 1 to go through projectiles. <laughs> right, yeah. I've got my Lariat. It's just a kid really trying to establish that mid-screen control. He's got a little bit of it. Yes, reactions are there. Really yeah. prioritizing range. <laughs> Yeah, and pushing Zangief back with that Z-break as well, really smart. And he will not pressure at all. That said, he's 
starting to get towards those columns there. Oh, uh -oh. and it's the EX. So what's the mix afterwards? Plus two. Oh, no quick rise. That's plus. Yes. Yep. Nice. Just poking right straight through there. Now that there's no Zangief super to worry about, he did go in. But still, cautious, slow, 30 on the clock. Oh, this is getting ow. more to where oh. Cold Pipe wants it. Oh, no. If he finds the oh, grab, yeah, and yeah, just yeah. the kid knew it. I was just about to say, if he got the SPD, that would have been death on that V-Trigger too. But a beautiful backdash right there to avoid it. And then the punish into the super, just a kid. Taking game number one, but a very, very close game. Mm -hmm. yeah, but for that V-Shift decision, really could have been the other way. Round one, fight. Yeah, again, that threat of the SPD. And I think Cold Pipe just kind of went for it in a situation that just a kid kind of was like, no, this is the moment right here. You're going to go for it. <laughs> All right, back to this neutral again. And like hey. I said, in the neutral, it's hard to say who's been winning the neutral because Cold Pipe has been getting a lot of the press forward. Oh, but here we go. Not in this game right now. Just a kid is definitely looking very strong right now. Oh, boy. And he's out of there. He pushed it for a little bit, but that's just not going to be his main MO. His main MO is going to be trying to maintain this spot on screen. Right. And that's why as a Zangief player, like when people are backdashing all your stuff, you have to think, okay, well, at least that's pushing him towards the corner, but just the kid is not getting pushed towards the corner at all. He's been fighting for that position so well. Mm -hmm. Oh, big oh, chance. No. And converted well. Good Larry there. Oh, great read by Just a Kid with quick rise and the quick button. And again, sticking with. And we haven't seen. A, and that's the thing. Just a Kid is using enough a variety of. But wow! After blocking standing jab, just went for the EX. Tries to go for a little bit of the Okie Doke, but Just a Kid, ready for it, jumps away from the running bear grab. And no buttons pressed there by Cold Pipe. Well done. He's patient. Ooh. Could have been an opportunity maybe for a light SCD or something. Same there, but just gets the crouching jab. Okay, so trigger's gone. And now Cold Pipe on the approach again. Scheming for classic Bulldog style. Walk and block. Yep, exactly. Oh, here we go. Opportunity activation. And EXDP. Wow. Just a kid Woo! waving it out there. One SPD will take it, but the confirm from just a kid right there. Nicely done. Gonna take it two to zero. Not just the confirm, but the sudden forward movement. It's hard to expect that. If you're the Zangi flare and you've been walking forward, walking and blocking, bulldogging, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. suddenly your opponent dashes forward, it's just hard to expect that and react to it in time. So really nicely done by just a kid to vary it up. And he's in winner's finals. Yeah, like I said, in game number one, it really felt like they were pretty even on the neutral right there. We saw Cold Pipe get Just a Kid to the corner a bunch of times, like I said, using a good variety of buttons. But by the time we got to game two, it felt like Just a Kid got a better read on Cold Pipe's rhythm and was able to sneak in a lot more. And we did not see Cold Pipe get Just a Kid to the corner at all, I don't believe, in game number two. Much better done in neutral, for sure, by Just a Kid. Again, he looks like a very strong player. One of the favorites to win it. We're going to go to the other side now of winners where we'll have Chris D versus OG Yon. Chris D made it past Pokey, who also qualified for the top eight mm -hmm. to get into top eight. Uh, strong Rashid player. And OG Yon made it past Feral Beast to get here. He is a really strong Laura player. Uh, very, very good. Not just in pressure, but also in neutral, which is so important to get things going. Right. Uh, and I, I really like it. Um, so Rashid versus... Laura. I talked with Chris D a little bit out there, actually. Oh, okay. Um, and he said that he's actually never beaten OG on. <laughs> well, you know what? But he did say this is his first time making top eight at a big tournament. Okay. okay. And he's very excited. And again, it's not like he had some easy waltz in here. He wasn't dancing in. Right. He had a pretty tough path, and he made it through. So congrats to him for that. But of course, he's going to want to continue this. You know, if you're playing against somebody who you don't have a good record at, but this is your weekend, right? Where right. you've made yeah. you've made the top eight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're already feeling good. He told me he is 
anxious sometimes. Sometimes he oh, battles anxiety. Yeah. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. that now he felt calm. Now that he's made top eight in winter <laughs> side no less, he feels calm. Yeah, I mean honestly, if you even if you have like a bad record playing against them, when you're on the big stage like this, this is the time for the upset, right? Mm -hmm. This is the time for the breakthrough because the other opponent, your opponent also has to think to himself as well, hey, I've never lost to this guy. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, now I'm yeah. here in this top eight. If things start to go a little bad, then he'd be like, oh God, I don't want to lose to him in this situation. Mm. And you can take advantage of it psychologically that way a little bit. So, you know, it goes both ways here. <clears throat> course you said using the Laura there is OG Yan and we oh, have yeah. two Lauras in the top eight and Laura I mean we have two Lauras a Zangief yeah we had a funky top 24 there were four Hondas what <laughs> in top 24 yes <laughs> uh, two of them played in a mirror match can you believe it I know right <laughs> who won that one? Oh, a uh, little fella named uh, summoning a storm. named Ultra Dave nice nice <laughs> But yeah, it is a very interesting top 24 in terms of character selection. I think that's something that we expect in this game. It's got pretty decent balance. But if you had to name the character who's going to show up four times in top 24, probably not that dude. <laughs> that said, we have a couple of Rashids in top eight. As you mentioned, we got a couple of Lauras, and we're seeing that Laura versus Rashid right now on winner's semis. Got a nice little... Uh Season one match here, match we've been seeing since the very, very beginning of time for Street Fighter V. Yeah, but in that season one, both of these characters weren't really super well explored yet. Right. There were there were some players who were doing work, but it was nothing like what it has ended up being for both of these characters. Yeah, I mean, Rashid, we've always talked about that. Rashid was really busted wide open by John Takeuchi, and that was like really late in the year. Like he won first attack. And then everyone was like, whoa, maybe this character can do something. Ooh, great stuff by Uji on it. Just skedaddle right on over. Ooh, crush counter. Floors the corner. Push towards the corner here. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Oh, nice. Projectile in bolt. So here's an opportunity for Uji on. Goes for the meaty thunderclap. Okay. Party time. Oh, big chance. He's got knocked down in the corner. Again! Again, again, yep. He's it looks that. like that's a reaction, not just a bet. Yeah, for sure. Oh no, and he just got ate the cross up. And yeah, what a good read by OG on. You know, hey, in this desperation situation, gonna try to bust out with the EX. Good read, good patience. The confirms are there too. You can see on that crouching medium kick, he's not just doing crouching medium kick into the stab, he's confirming. Nice. Gets the link here and pushing. And now all of a sudden, OG on seems like, oh, never mind. A nice V reversal by Chris D getting him out of the corner. But look at this. Armor didn't even need the armor, just found the mark. Oh boy, he is stealing big turns. Oh! Wasn't expecting the EX wake up this time. Here we go, the activation. Nice tech. Even at that much health teching with not taking the throw. Ooh. Oh, okay. Can he make it tricky enough? Oh, Gian just blocked it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, good reaction there. <laughs> At his opponent's minus frames, he took advantage of it. Not with the fast button, not with a regular grab, but with the old command grab. grab. Yep. No delayed tech working in that situation. And again, as you saw in the last match, we're at, still at two out of three here in this top eight. So. Chris D's got to figure something out here, otherwise it's going to be the same old story for him round one. going down to OG Yan. He looked good in that first round, but then OG Yan came out of the gates real fast in round number two. Oh. Yeah, and I feel like Yan right now is just like, you know what, I'm getting used to your timings, I'm getting used to what it is that you're waiting for again, and it's re he's really just asserting himself now. Yeah, he's really stealing a lot of turns. Biggest thing right now for Chris D is that Ojeon's getting away with a lot of stuff. Great block! It's a big opportunity now for Chris D. Corners here, triggers ready. No! no Miss time that The three needy. framer to the rescue. Yeah, he just, I think he did it too early because there's no way that, that kick was like already most of the way through. He just did it too early, it whiffed. Yep. And so Ojeon was able to wake up with that three frame button. Ooh. 
Nice check with that standing light kick. Leon in there. Right, oh, no, some plus frames. Oh, walking back, and I love that he was walking back and had the oh, no. ready to go. Explosion. Christy's in big trouble. Okay, gets away. That's yeah, not going to be punished in time. Not going to be a punished in time. And here we go. This is it. Fight for life at this point in time. Gets the cross up. Here we go. Big opportunity. Back to the corner. He tried oh. to jump. He tried to go maybe for an eagle spike. Yeah. The check, but then... He got, he got run into... You press the light kick a little bit before, and you accidentally get that instead of what you want, which is the grab. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate end for Chris D. But you can see how strong OG Yon looks. It, again, it was everything there. It was his very quick read about when Chris D was willing to challenge, and OG Yon was right about that almost all the time. He had some hit confirms on the way through. He had the reactions of his own EX through the projectile. Just firing on all cylinders, so hats off to him. He's in the winner's finals. Yeah, and again, right there, just the realization that Oh, you're expecting my three-frame button to try to check you after the minus frame. So, you know what? I'm going to go for the command grab instead. <clears throat> yeah, and then you saw right here, he came here, and I swear he tried to do the eagle spike trick. You see yes. him jump right there, but the jab actually caught him out of the air, and then a little bit of a scramble right there gave OG on the victory. There you go. So it'll be loser side for Chris D. He's not out of this thing, but... We're now going to head over to loser side. Let's take a look at the bracket for you, and we'll let you know exactly where we're at. Here you go. Yeah, Marine, the wash your hands. Laura, the other Laura in Marine, and then uh, going up against Wash Your Hands. And which character does Wash Your Hands play? Wash Your Hands is a really strong Cody. Ah, okay, okay. That's right. You said he was the one that lost the cold pipe. He right? did, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. And then Pokey and Dual Kevin are on the other side of losers. Dual Kevin. Of course, uh, an, uh, another strong Rashid player. Oh, yeah. And G this weekend as well. Oh, of course, of course, yeah. I mean, he's a player that's been, he's just, he's one of those fighting games, just, he's just good at he's fighting games. He's very good at fighting games. <laughs> yeah. Again, he hasn't actually lost to anybody yet. We'll talk about <laughs> Dual Kevin in a bit, but we're going to head over to Marines and wash your hands this match first. I'll talk with Marine a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, she's somebody who just doesn't really get super nervous. She said that she is a little bit, but oh, okay. I mean, I know her, and I don't think that she's going to be nervous. I think she's going to play <laughs> just fine. Um, she's very, very strong. Her mix-ups are great. I would think that, say that the thing that really stands out to me about her gameplay, about her Laura, is the mix-ups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, she's mm -hmm. strong on all the things, but specifically like when it comes to guessing what you're going to do, she is very difficult to deal with. She plays with a snack box. That yeah, it looks like. Yeah, yeah dang. Okay, okay. But look at this. We've got all the leverless players here right now. <laughs> it's the this, wave of the future. Yeah. Well, it's the wave of the now. It's the wave of years ago, honestly. This yeah. Is. Unless you're an old man like me and don't want to even bother trying to learn. Or but. a youngster like <laughs> just a kid who's in winner's finals with his stick. Yep. Oh, that's true, huh? And he had to beat Cold Pipe, who was playing um, claw style, tabletop style on his pad. Yeah. Again, whatever controller you're most comfortable with, just keep going Absolutely. with that, honestly. Absolutely. Don't be ever tempted by anyone be like, you should play on stick, you should play, no. Whatever you're working on right now, as long as you feel comfortable, as long as you aren't physically damaging your hands, stick with it. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know she did that on purpose. She's starting <laughs> off the mix up even before know, the game right? begins. This is how you get in your opponent's head. This oh, is yeah. how you do it. But here we go. Cody, of course, considered one of the stronger yes, characters course, nowadays. Yeah, We've obviously seen what this character can do, you know, in the hands right. of players like Momochi. Uh, I, I think okay. basically at this point in time, uh-oh. Looks like a, having a little bit of a controller issue here. We're probably going to switch stage. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. I think that stage is so cool. It's so good. It's oh, so well. good. That is the rule. It's a nice throw. I mean, again, what they've done with, like, the throwback stages on this have been amazing. Like, I just oh, yeah. love, like, the Vegas stage. And especially, like... With the Vegas stage, they put the stained glass oh, on the ceiling, you know, and th which obviously you could never see before. It's very cool. And every time I do training mode, it's always on Cami stage. Like, on oh, it's so that. good, yeah. But well, again, every time I do training mode, it's on Honda stage, and I, <laughs> yeah, no, they they nailed a lot of the stages in this game for sure. 
Yeah, but again, Cody here, and like I said, we know how strong this is. Uh, yes, Momochi's character Round of choice, one. of course, and Momochi will be Fight. seeing at Capcom Cup as well. A but lot of people are saying that Cody, wow, that was oh, not a trade, yeah, actually, no, not a combo. It wasn't but even a combo, but I think that was supposed to be. I believe so. He's super, super strong. A lot of people are saying he's in that tier of like the top high tier, like right outside of Luke. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like Pretty right now, was it Luke, Poison, Dalsum are like considered like the top three, and then Cody is right outside of there with Ed. You know, yeah. a couple of other. It's characters. a big list. Some people are saying Laura's top ten too. I don't want to let that go. Here's Marie. I'm telling you, her mix up oh. is strong, <laughs> as you just saw in a round where she got stunned like ten seconds into it. She ends up waltzing all the way back. Yeah, I mean, Laura, you know, I mean, there are, she's always been considered strong outside of Japan. You know, Japan always, for some reason, never rates her very high, but then you see someone like Idom, but, you know, Idom is also Idom, so. Yeah. And Marine pressing a lot of buttons, Oi. you can see, in between block strings and getting herself caught by a lot of frame traps. Great patience. Out of the corner. And yep, now you see Wash Your Hands just jump right out of there as yeah. well. Great knockdown. Corner is so important in this game. Oh, nice. Caught with the standing medium kick first. Counter hit was able to get the link off of that. Too early. And it's time that, yeah, you got a delay by like just a few frames. Oh! Oh, here we go. The really mix -up. tough spot. Yeah, what a tough situation. So scared of that rock coming down there. Just holding block, and so smart stuff. I wash your hands to go for that throw. Mm, reactions were great. Wash hands. However, Marine with the stolen turn. She's in plus frames a couple times, hunting for the hit confirm. Okay, glance the cross up here. Here we go. Gets the knockdown. Goes for the jump, and actually, weirdly enough, it almost seems like the bad spray moved Cody, so he didn't get crossed up. Plus frames. So yeah, goes with a B reversal. Mm. Yep, there's that mix-up oh, you were Marine. talking about. There's that Watch mix your hands up. is in big trouble. And doesn't tech Marine again all the way back. Yeah, again, just, you know, after that uh, last command throw situation, Watch Your Hands wasn't sure what to do. Forward dash right there, not real, but very, caught him off guard. And then just went for the regular throw just in case. Because that way, if he jumped away, you wouldn't get punished out of your command throw. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, it's very good. Wash your hands has checked that twice. He's really trying to shut it down. He's ready with his own trigger. Yeah, the tough thing right now is that Wash your hands has gotten a lead a bunch of times, but then, you know, Marine just lures her way back into the match. And so Wash your hands has to feel nervous no matter how big of a life lead he has. Mm -hmm. See, there that's what he wanted. That was cool. Yeah, that's the two hit combo right there. Oh, no whiff punish right there. No EX for Big Zonk. Watch your hands again. Checks it, but nothing else. Again! Yeah, again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the wake up buttons from Marine have been causing Wash Your Hands a lot of problems. He's got to go for those proper meaty timings, and he is not getting them. Mm. Wow, just jumped forward right at the start of the round. Nope, not that time, but no punish from Marine. Wash Your Hands has been frozen a little bit by how Marine's been playing here. He's not nearly as active as before. He's more reactive at the moment. Waiting for her to jump, waiting for her to move. Okay, here he is. He's got meter for EX. Okay, he got the clutch counter over here. Now the corner position. Goes for the meaty throw. And does go for the true meaty. Oh, oh what a back dash. Here we go. Oh no, the setup, what a block. Wash your hands, is ready. He's like, I've seen that before. I've seen that before. Plus frames, let's go for the throw. Wow, what a tech. Hey. Hit just a pixel left, and there you go. Anti-air just in time to get that trade. If he had been like one frame later, that would have been the start of a party right there. Charmed life to have, I believe, a six frame anti-air like that. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, wow. Love the movement from Marine right now. Didn't get the combo. A little too late on the... Uh, on the elbow lunge right there, and now, not late this time, gonna get the combo. Oh, and watch your hands go. in trouble. He's got a lot of resources though, comes off that one. Yo, let's go! 
right on through. Again, but Marine! Again, the wake up button! Yeah, and regular throw. You see, regular throw so we couldn't be punished. And here we go, down. Look at all, no help here from Wash Your Hands. He's got to be able to do, take this. Oh! What was he going she moved for? moved through the air like that. What a jump. Marine really letting them hang low as she moves on in loser's side. Yeah, not sure what Wash Your Hands was trying to do. I mean, he threw the EX Fireball, was probably expecting Marine to stay on the ground. I think he was just going to use the EX Fireball as a way to jump in. Yeah. Because as soon as Marine jumped, I'm... You saw it, Wash Your Hands jumped as well and just got hit. I think he just got caught off completely off guard by that. I, I love this here, walking out of the rock. I really liked a lot of his defensive checks. I thought he checked Marine's movement well. But again, her mix-ups are so strong that you can check her and she will not give up. She's incorrigible that way. She's gonna, here it is, right? Perfect timing, checks. Uh -huh. Immediately she wakes up buttons. <laughs> Immediately she is right back into the mix right away. And that made Wash Your Hands play kind of a rangy game that didn't end up working out in the long haul, right. unfortunately and for him. I loved a lot of his stuff, but he just didn't have quite enough. here's the situation right here. Yes. See, I'm Jump not early, sure medium was, kick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was going for in that situation right there. I felt like he had plenty of time to see that Marine had jumped over there. And uh, maybe he was going for air to air or something. But like you said, Marine with an early jump attack, yeah. catching him out of the air. And so Marine is going to move on on the loser side of the bracket. Indeed she does. And we're going to move on to a quick advertising break. That's right. We'll be back with more of the top eight in just a bit. Since 2008, Gaming Gen has been providing staffing, consoles, monitors, and every other essential for amazing events. Rushdown Revolt, a fast-paced fighting game that brings anime fighter mechanics to the platform fighter genre. Use the Spark Cancel system to access insane combos, featuring a unique cast of characters and electrifying gameplay. God of Rock is like nothing you've witnessed before. DNF Duel, coming to Nintendo Switch April 20th. Now you can hit the lab on the go. Guilty Gear Strive Season 2. With four new characters, including Bridget, Sin, and two more characters to be announced for release later this year. Them's Vitenherd Season Pass 1 available now. 
including Texas the Bull and three more upcoming characters along with new stages. Celebrating over 10 years of Skullgirls and five years of Skullgirls Mobile. With four brand new DLC characters, it's the perfect time to start or get back into the game that Touch Arcade called far and away the best mobile fighting game. MSI Cyborg 15. For only $9.99, you can grab a monster rig pumping out 1080p at 144 hertz. Junk food. Proven quality, featuring support for PS5 and Xbox Series, you can also pick up the brand new Micro Lite available now. Jack Jean. A captivating story where every choice brings countless... Back with more of the Street Fighter V Top 8 here at Frosty Faustings. We're going down to our final first round loser side match, which will be Just Pokey versus Dual Kevin, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who, as I said, has not just been playing Rashid today, uh, nor for a while, but has also been playing G. And it looks like he's lining up again for his G versus Pokey's Falk. Okay, and uh, I think you had mentioned that uh, before the stream started here, Dual Kevin has not lost. This man is technically in losers, but also technically has not lost. Well, maybe not technically. Anyway, he got DQ'd because he didn't show up in time. So like, okay. <laughs> but since then, he's been completely busting everybody all the way through into the top eight, which is about as, well, it is literally as long a path as you can take, Yep. but he's, he's been nailing it. He is definitely trying to uh, channel his inner John Choi right now. Yes, yes. Go through the loser's bracket over here. But, you know, if anybody was going to give just a kid you know, a chance, uh, you know, to, to challenge here. Because obviously you said just a kid. It's the favorite here. Yes, I believe Dual that's Kevin, right. I think, might be the one of the uh, biggest rivals oh, that he should sure. run into. For sure. Of course, on the loser side, so that means the, they're, unless just a kid loses winner's finals, they're not going to fight each other until grand finals, only if just Ke Dual Kevin can make it that far. But just Pokey and using this Falk, and Falk is another one of those characters that we have seen just the rise of with players like for Phil's. This character is such a problem now, as you can see here, starting out from just Pokey. This corner pressure gets the stun right away, but G is still G, and G is never dead until he's dead. And now he's dead. <laughs> now he's dead. <laughs> yeah, we talked a lot about Duel Kevin, but I don't want to give short shrift to just Pokey, who got second place at the last Frosty Faustings last year. Nice. So a very, very strong player. And although in their matchup history on FG Combo, Dual Kevin's got a 75% win rate. In the last year, just Pokey has had the better win rate. So. There you go. There, you, there go. you go. And so again, like I said, Falk is another one of those characters that has just really risen to the top here and is considered one of the stronger characters these days. Yeah. And you can see a lot of it has to do with this range and just the mix-up options that she has once she uh -oh. can get established. It's still going. Remember that she's thing? She's got big plus frames. She's got big buttons. She's got big damage. She's really got a lot. Very strong. Yeah, we really haven't seen uh, Dual Kevin have a chance to really do much with G right now outside of oh. very just fundamental stuff here. So Trigger's already out of here. Dual Kevin with Trigger 2. Yeah, but and no presidentiality levels right now. No. So he's st he's been stuck at zero or one, I should say, for quite some time. Playing pretty good active defense. He's moving forward, but he's really keeping his eye on whether Just Pokey moves in. Yeah, and you know what? He's he's fine playing the way that he's playing. He's got a big life lead right now. Uh oh, 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 but here we go. Time for oh, and just jumps out of there. Offensive V Rev and Dual Kevin waits it out. Yeah, Take the round. 18 seconds left on the clock. Smart decision right there. Expecting the opponent to uh, try to get the bust out and get the momentum on their side with such little time left on the clock. Just pokey scheming, moving forward, using those really strong far buttons. And that Stan Fierce has very funky property of like her not having a hurt box in part oh. of it that you wouldn't expect. Dual Kevin's over it though, yeah, and that. he's in for pressure if he wants. He does. Yeah, that Ford Fierce, unfortunately, you know, can be basically considered a mini fireball. So if you jump over it, oh wow, going with the V trigger too. Uh -huh. yeah. So twice at the ends of rounds where otherwise I liked a lot about what Just Pokey did. He woke up with EX and got busted for it. Yeah, it might just be one of those situations like. Oh, I woke up with EX last time. Dual Kevin 
gotta believe that I've been trained not to do it. Yeah, and again, there's a long history between the two players, so it's not like they're coming at this at Yomi level zero. Right. right. Like they're at mm -hmm. Yomi level a million already. Oh, oh, too far away. But again, that doesn't explode until Falk manages to hit it. Has the fireball charged up, ready to go. Oh. Not quite there on the whip punish. Oh, what a counter by Duel Kevin. Again, that was definitely a we played each other a lot counter right there. Oh, gets the cross up, and this is huge. Gets out of this corner because a lot of what Just Pokey is doing is slowly trying to push Duel Kevin into the corner. And now Duel Kevin has the corner position, but gets hit out of the air. So the command grab, he wasn't expecting that. Should be able to get a big punish here, though. Big opportunity for Duel Kevin yet again. He's in. Doesn't overextend. Oh. It's not enough. I, after having seen Just Pokey do Wake Up EX twice, Duel Kevin thought, for sure you're not doing that again. <laughs> and goes up to match point. Acting like you won't get command <laughs> grabbed. Ooh, the crush right here. Off the wall. And now corner position right away for Duel Kevin. This is one of the first times we've seen Duel Kevin win the corner push at the start of the round. But look at this. Just Pokey fighting his way out of there real fast. Plus frames on the shotgun there. Again, Duel mm -hmm. Kevin with a lot of air to airs challenging those situations. The reversal does not want to deal with those plus frames. He continues to show really, really strong defense. Even his, he's moving around, he's jumping in sometimes, but his anti airs have been great, his air to airs have been great. He's neutralized a bunch of stuff. V revs have been great. Mm. So, very aware play. Oh, look at the footsies right there. That heavy kick finding its mark. And here we go. V-Trigger activation gives them all this. The setup. Wake up buttons from Pokey. Not scared at all. Going to go to the super. Going to be fairly scaled starting with two lights. But he has no rounds to give at this point. So might as well spend it. And he just needs to find a couple more hits. But so does Duel Kevin. Very good. Oh, crush counter. Can't combo off of that. Raw Just activation. Zone, maybe? Yeah, that is the idea here. Look at the clock now. 14 on it. Duel Kevin. He's he only needs away. one hit, really, if it's the right one. So he doesn't need to stab in yet, but he's running out of time now. Yeah, gotta watch your legs. Gotta watch out for that EX low. Oh, not sure what Duel Kevin tried to go for there. Didn't come out fast enough. And there we go. Just Pokey staying alive. That comeback was started out by him doing wake up crouching light kick, which is like the third version of what to do on wake up after having blocked and done EX wake up. Right. So really mixing it up well. That's the, 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 the Street Fighter V RPS right there. Waking up with buttons is absolutely a necessary option. He's in. Duel Kevin trying to jump. And he's stuck now. Uh oh, bad spot. Stun. And she look might at this. Kill. Yeah, Just Pokey. Should be able to get most of this done. It is enough, and Just Pokey takes it and ties it up one to one against Duel Kevin. We were talking about you. You were saying that he's been winning the majority of the matches in the past year, so it's definitely a, a match here right now where both of these players are thinking about all that history right now and thinking to themselves, "What have I done before? How has he beaten me in the past?" and trying to make the proper adjustments. Most recently, not long ago, they played at Casa online. That was in 2023, and it was a two to one win by Pokey. Oh, dang. Well, Duel Kevin here getting a nice jump in to start, and again, getting that corner push right at the beginning. He's gonna be able to link off of that. Yeah, meaty buttons right there. Stopping wake up buttons from just Pokey. Ooh. Oh, jeez. What a conversion. Back throw to push him back towards the corner. Hey. No response from Duel Kevin. He's got a couple of glowing red bars now. Not going to get a chance to use it yet. His stun is in trouble. Oh, oh, what a button to press to be able to get the V-Trigger activation. Oh, the Wake Up EX works this time. Not going to be discouraged. No Ooh, fear. No fear. Kevin's still got that second hit of the oh, trigger, hey, ready to go. Dash up into nothing at that point. Oh. 
Whoa, that was interesting. But just the patience from Pokey waiting for Duel Kevin. Gets the anti-air and now just Pokey gonna try to take Duel Kevin out of this tournament and give him his <laughs> first loss. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> and Duel Kevin's playing a little differently and in ways that, yeah, are not as effective right now. He's jumped in and he's been anti aired He's been over-pressing as well and he's been hit yep, on the this ground. Is, this is a sign of that frustration. You're playing a little looser and not as careful because that mental fortitude of playing super patient eventually starts to wear down after a while. Okay. Looking for the hit confirm. Nothing. Pokey just waits it out. Oh, what? Wow. And then he misses with the V trigger. Yeah, that could have been Oh, but he's going to be chance. able to get the combo off of this. Yes. This is combo. Oki. Next hit is stun. Goes for the meaty. And look at this. Finds the crouching medium kick hit. So there we go. Good damage there. Still has a little bit more V trigger. Spends it. Woo! Tries to go for the throw using that fireball. Using that projectile as a shield. Oh, did he make it over? But he hit her out of the air. Not on the ground. EX through. It's enough. It's match point now. Oh, my God. The reactions from Duel Kevin right there at the end. Especially when that jab hit her out of the air. He didn't cancel it into one of those whiff specials that gets punished on reset. Again, beautiful air to air with the jumping knockdown. But the crush counter from Just Pokey there. Pushing Duel Kevin back just a little bit. Air Fireball has definitely been doing a lot of work for Jess Pokey. Yes. And it's in part why Duel Kevin's knocked down in the corner. Back to the wall. Gives up V-Meter. Oh, he's got it in time. That was a true punish. And now look at that corner press. The command grab. No, okay. That turns it into a setup for his sick. Oh, he gets the stun. He should be able to kill off of this because it was just a single hit. Oh, there it is, the heavy kick, and Duel Kevin barely ekes it out against just Pokey and avenges the earlier loss uh, at Casa Bunch House. <clears throat> so he moves on in the loser's side, top eight. Just Pokey not gonna get second place again here at Frosty Costings again. That's what he had gotten last year, but seventh place, still great. Excellent work to him. Yep. Managed to at any major like this to get yourself into the top eight. Very, very impressive. Even getting into the top 16. Very, very impressive. <laughs> Aw, you. So <laughs> it, remaining now, we have, of course, waiting in winner's finals. Just a kid and OG on. We're not going there yet, but that will happen in a little while. In loser's quarters, we have Chris D versus Marine. They're setting up on stage now. That will be Rashid versus Laura. On the other side, Cold Pipe Zangief versus Duel Kevin. <laughs> Whether he wants G or Rashid, and I have my suspicions about which one of those two he'll go with, but I guess we'll see if he does it when that match comes up. As you can see here, no time left here. Duel Kevin trying to press his way over here, and things look like they started going just Pokey's way here. He was down uh, 0 1 here, but you can see just, I mean, it wasn't it, even over. So He's many just... hits right there. <laughs> yeah. And then it was 1 1. And I, like I said, it looked like it was going just Pokey's way at this point in time. He had double match point here, and Duel Kevin had to win two rounds in a row. And this r clutch round right here, where he got this is the scramble with the EX at the end, jabs out of the air, and then he sees the air fireball and a beautiful reaction. Manages to get all three hits, and that sets up Duel Kevin being able to take it here with the stun and the setup. Mm -hmm, for sure. <laughs> and there it is, Duel Kevin advancing oh, forward. All right, well, that was that match. Again, we're moving on now to the next round of losers. It will be Marine Laura. It will be Chris D. Rashid. They've already picked their characters, so I know that that's the case. No surprises there. Again, Chris D comes into this. This is his first big top eight. He's somebody who's been playing for a long time. He told me he had to actually DQ himself from ST, for example, <laughs> because he made top eight here. So this is somebody who's been playing for a long time. Dang, okay. Uh, congrats and to him for his spacing or for his placing. But Marine has been in big moments Round before. One. She would love to keep going. Yeah, one of the tough things for uh, Chris D right now, he just lost to Alora, right? right? That was uh, OG on that he just lost to. And now he's got to face another one. So, and one that's, you know, kind of a different style as well. So 
going to have to uh, adjust here. And yeah, figure. I think it'll be of a paramount importance for Christy to check more of what Laura likes to do. It's not something he did quite often enough for Soji on. All right, here we go. The plus frames in there. What a backdash by Marine, but chased down by Christy. And again, Marine with the wake up button. You can see that's definitely one of her tendencies. You got to make sure your meaties are on point against Marine because she is not scared to wake up with those three frame buttons and steal some turns. That said, before that happened, Christy had had some nice knockdowns, some nice pressure. Stuff to build on, maybe. Yeah, but you see how quickly it turns around, especially if that standing light punch is a counter hit as well, because then she gets the combo off of that into the knockdown. And that's how a lot of her parties have been started. And you see the shimmy right there? Hey, hey. out of here. So I'll not st straight check. Christy did escape where he had been hit by OG on in that trip mm -hmm. except before. And now the V-shift from Marine. And again, oh. the check with the buttons, and that's not going to be a huge punish. And okay. there's the check. There's the check. Oh, I look at this, the mix-up. Not quite a stun, not quite a death, but the overhead is going to be able to take it. And so Chris ties it up 1-1 one, one here in rounds. The game tells me that it said counter hit there, which means she was doing the wake-up button yet again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So like I said, definitely something that she tends towards yep. more often than not. So like I said, if you, see, if you get yourself hit by wake-up buttons, that just means you've got to make sure your meaties are in proper timing. Oh, hey, look at that little spacing nice. trap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm oh, staying what? in the front this time because Marine accidentally walked herself a little bit out of the corner. Oh, yo! Yeah. Forbidden the combo? Not quite. Okay, that would have been sick, though. That would have been a, a combo video set up right there. But nice V reversal. Get out of that corner. Again, Rashid's so good at controlling where he is on the screen at all times. She does not have trigger yet. Christine knows that. Oh, you're giving her that red yeah. bar. Oh, nice. there we go. And there we go. V-trigger ability to be activated here. Not yet. She's still holding oh, up. Oh, boy. Here okay. comes Marine. And she still has that trigger. trigger yeah. Raw trigger activation, but a trade out of the air. Okay. Here comes the thunderclap. It's coming. It's coming. You got to deal with it. Marine, not pressing too hard afterwards. Okay. Hey, Christy did what he didn't do often enough versus OG on. He checked the movement, the stolen turn. Two big situations, and that's a big part of why he took this first game. Round one. Yeah, so having played against OG on in this matchup might have definitely helped, you know, keep his brain in the Laura mindset here. Now, oh, good tech, but again, there's that light eagle spike. Here we go, plus frames in the corner. And Marine backdashes a lot in the corner as well. Oh, what? She whipped the throw and then still managed to get the light punch out in time. But still down very much in life here. Gonna need a patented Laura comeback. And this is the start of it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nice block, but still big plus frames. Steals a huge turn. Chris is in trouble. Nice V. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, but no punish from Marine. Oh, can she can you get there. that? No. no. Oh, boy. It's so deceiving. He keeps moving forward after that kick, and he just, you got to dash up and chase it. Oh, not going to be able to cross up because he moved so far forward. And here we go. Christine now going to get the jump in. Big combo for him. Doesn't complete the medium spinning mixer to get better plus frames. Mm. That's going to punish. Uh -oh. oh, she was ready there. Tried to go for a shimmy after that. Uh, Elbow. She backs off slightly, hoping to cage Christy. Gets the overhead. That's not going to be able to combo, so she just goes for the throw on the plus frame. V reversal, but Christy has jumped out of the corner now. Oh. Got out of the air. Nice confirm. But the wake up buttons again. Wow. Okay. Yep. That's a facing trap we've seen him use before. And the he run did it! Up. Oh, what a genius. I love that he <laughs> went for that at the end. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he just screwed it up before. You can get that out of run, right? But uh, if, if you want grab. But he went to the well again, and this time there was water. So he moves on and loses his side. All right. So Marine out of the tournament here. Christy using that Laura practice that he got right. against OG on here 
to help him versus Marine. As you mentioned, he was able to check a lot of the movement options for Marine a little, like right there, perfect example, checking that uh, Avant. And then just goes for the overhead to finish right there. And you see, like I said, Marine not pushing off of that EX Thunderclap. And there it is right there, another check on that forward dash. And there, right there, was a big missed opportunity for Marine. Didn't get the punish on the Eagle Spike. Couldn't chase down that one either. There were some moments in here where she could have had a little more. It's true. Yeah, and that spacing trap there is so nice. And then there it is, the finish right there for Christy. And you can see Marine, obviously, having a great time here yeah, and making yeah, this yeah, top awesome. eight. So, so. Shout out to Marine. Uh, ends up in fifth place. Now we have another battle to determine who else will end up in fifth place and who else will move on. It's between Cold Pipe and Dual Kevin. Mm. So Cold Pipe, Geef. We saw V-Trigger 2, Geef before. I would suspect it's G. Yeah. <laughs> would be my suspicion yeah. for Dual Kevin here. Max Power G. The most presidential G is throwing out fireballs. Some fireballs that are just real tough to deal with. And especially if you are somebody who's a loyalist to V-Trigger 2. We'll see if that's the case. I'm not sure. But if that is true, it's extra tough. So that would be my guess. We'll see if that's what happens. Yeah, I know Zangief players absolutely loathe that max presidentiality fireball. And that's why when you're a G player against Zangief, that's kind of your goal. Sometimes you're not, you're not fighting too hard for the presidential meter. Uh, but I think in this here, particular yeah. case here, I'm yeah. looking for V skill too as well if it is G. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. G protection. That means if he gets knocked down, he retains that level of presidentiality. So even if Geef gets in, it's still tough for him. Trigger 2 as well. Totally makes sense. Very common arrangement. And was it Trigger 2 again for Cold Pipe? I think so. Yeah, uh, yep. Oh, wow. And of course, that G protection also makes it so that he just takes less damage too. So a lot of ways to stave off you know, a little bit of the momentum from Zangi Vortexes. His space control can be really effective. We'll see though again, I really like Cold Pipe's footsies. It's been huge. And one... Oh my oh, goodness! Oh yeah. Says, you know what, if you're gonna armor, I'm just gonna cancel another command grab. Oh no. It has already begun. <laughs> it has already begun. Yep. And you see, every time he throws that fireball, instantly into G production. So yeah, he's not gonna lose any presidentiality. Oh. And then actually wakes up with the buttons as well. Oh my oh. goodness. He is not taking any damage right here. And he's looking for anti-air. Cold Pipe's not jumping. Again, I really like Cold Pipe's approach. Yes! Now look, very little damage right there thanks to G Yo! Oh, catches the V-Shift. Oh, here we go. Activation, it's got still scary. One SVD could kill him right now. Yes. But can he get in there? It could oh! be Chip. Yeah, yeah, it could just be Chip. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, there was right, no more right, reversal. Right. So. Tough spot to be in. But Cold Pipe did do the work of getting into the corner. Yeah. And that's the thing, right? As much as, quote, Zangief is bad in this game, he's still scary. He gets you one time, and you're like, oh, here we go. I'm in the mix. <laughs> yeah. As long as he can get a heavy or an EX SPD. Ugh. The Q pose. <laughs> that was looking for a command grab there. Would have been a nice read, but Dual Kevin was already on the next level. Yep, every time. Throws the fireball into the charge up. Doesn't even need the charge up necessarily, just doing it anyway. Okay. And as long as you see that V skill 2 flashing down in Dual Kevin's corner, you know he's got that activated, ready to go. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's oh, a okay. chance. No, we missed it. Oh, huge opportunity. You get very few of those versus oh, Dual Kevin right. versus G. And he never got another in that game. Excellent first game by Dual Kevin. Total control. Yep, and played out exactly how we expected it to, basically. It's just get that presidentiality up to two and just go ham, especially with no V-Trigger 1 on Zangief. Even with the V-Trigger 1, though, that splash reaches yeah. so far yeah, it's that you're at a range where that V-Trigger 1 might not even be able to vacuum in. That definitely happens. Oh, what a backdash! This time he was right. 
<laughs> already on the next level yet again. Yep. Dual Kevin is there. Love seeing that back and forth adjustment from the players. But there's that G protection. He's still at level two presidentiality. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hey. Oh, that was a chance. Yep. Oh, here we go. And there it is, the fierce SPD. So he's going to be right. Actually, that was a medium SPD. Right back to this range. Okay. Huge opportunity yet again. How's he going to handle He reads this? it. I. One SPD could kill. Could kill if he can get one in there. I'm not sure because there is a lot of levels. Oh, yeah, you're right. The, the G protection. <laughs> against the mortal human. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> not against the president of the world, right? Yep. So yep. not going to happen over here. And there you go. Dual Kevin manages to take it. Ouch. Just a headbutt to start the round. Mm. Finds the combo off of it. But Dual Kevin, this is one of those situations where it doesn't even matter if you're down in life. You just keep playing that game because the chip damage that you get off of that fireball splash is such a problem. Oh, yeah. But he's got to find a way to get that presidentiality level up right now. He's still at zero. Here we go. There's one. Oh. Oh, that's only minus four. And there's two. And time to start throwing the fireworks here. It's the 4th of July. Set up. Oh, yep. Oh, and man. now the stun. Well, fantastic pick by Duel Kevin. He did exactly what he needed to do. He picked the right character with the right V system. And not just that naturally, right? But just excellent control. The reads were there. We saw him adapt immediately as soon as he saw a V skill backdash. No longer heavy into command grab, but heavy into dash punch instead. Just stuff like that was him reading the mix-ups right and also putting himself at the right spot. Yeah, and again, that, I mean, as well as, Col I mean, obviously, congratulations to Cold Pipe making oh, all yeah. the way, getting to fifth place over here. But this is a perfect example here of why a lot of people do consider Zangief, you know, one of the weaker characters. He just has matchups like this and probably more than any other character that he has matchups like this that are just so difficult to deal with. Absolutely right. So that is it for Cold Pipe. Again, as you say, hats off to him for oh, having yeah. gotten that far. Uh, oh, yeah. But it's not going to continue. So it will now be in loser semis, Chris D versus Duel Kevin. Yeah. We're not doing that quite yet. We're going to go to winner's side first. I was just about to say, you have my sympathies, Cold Pipe. Hashtag justice for grapplers. Come on. Let's get some good grappler stuff going on in some Street Fighter 6. Let's see some Zangief, man. Where's my Zangief? I would love to. I would, love my to. Zangief? You know I would love to. Capcom, where's my Zangief? Show me my Zangief. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> well, look. Not every grappler is struggling in this game. There's some good ones, dude. Mm -hmm. In fact, we just saw G take W yeah. and mm -hmm. in part with the big command grab. So uh, there's some good ones. There's also a little character named Laura, who we're going to see back up on stage again with OG on. Just a Kid will be there with Jury. We've talked about a lot of characters who people think are strong, but we can't do that without also mentioning Jury. <laughs> Jury, too, is in that conversation for many people yes. of being just outside of the mm -hmm, very best character mm -hmm, in the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, and again, Just a Kid, you know, playing the long con, right? Like, oh, I'm going to keep playing this character that's not very good because eventually she'll get buffed. <laughs> no, yeah, but did, seriously, though. But he no. also has been stepping it up big yeah. time, of course. And, right? and, of course, and you know what? He was doing super well with her, even despite the fact that she wasn't particularly strong in the past, you know? But again, you know, this Just a Kid, I mean, you can't talk about Just a Kid without talking about his dad, Brian F., right, who has definitely put in a lot of work training him and getting him up to this level here. I know I saw Brian F. talking about the SFL finals yesterday mm -hmm. and how proud he was of his uh, CLG team oh, yeah. that he put together, Just a Kid being on there as well. They got second place to Team UIU, but... Uh, just a kid obviously has ma managed to level up, and in fact, oh, okay. the very first Frosty Faustings I came here, that was the first time I saw Just a Kid, and uh, that was when he was uh, Batman, something like not Batman or something. Um, I forgot me what. Me, because I'm Batman. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's what so. it is. Yeah, and uh, people were telling me keep an eye on this kid, keep an eye yeah. on this kid, and here he is right now, Just a Kid. 
going up against Ojian's claw. Yeah, it is a character I've seen him play, not as commonly, for sure. But I'm sure they've hashed this out many times. In fact, on FG Combo, they've played a lot. And for Just a Kid, it's been a 75% win rate. Mm, okay. So yeah, definitely probably doesn't like the Laura versus the Jury. Going to go with this claw instead. A little bit trapped in the corner here. Vega obviously has a way to get out there, but I like the long range punish on that forward fierce. And look at this, the pressure in the corner. Just a Kid has not let up just yet. And then gets the jump in, gets the shimmy, almost the stun, in fact, this is even going to be better with no scaling on the stun and just a kid looking so solid here in round number one. Round two. It's what you expect from him. He has so much control. His awareness is fantastic. He mixes it up well, and I don't just mean in terms of like, is he going to grab or not, like that kind of mix up. It's also his mobility and where he is on screen. He really plays with it really well. Back to this neutral here, but again, that standing medium kick for Jury is so strong for many reasons. It's fast, it's far, and it's also two hits too. So there's that initial hit that's really fast that can catch people up close. A lot of active frames makes it nice. Oh no, no juggling. Hey. I feel like that was an execution error from OG on. Yeah, and then missed the, the link afterward when it's the stuff that doesn't quite happen. It's just a kid. Oh, and there it is. So we're in winner's finals, we're in the first three situation. I wonder if maybe the Vega pick was him trying it out. Again, I've seen him play Vega before, it's not like it's the first time, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the, the, mm, the yeah, character there it select. Is. Character yeah. switch. Let's see if he does go back to the Laura, but you know, it might just be one of those situations where because of their history, he knows that this isn't necessarily a favorable matchup either. But it is the character that he's more use, used to, and Laura definitely does have the better mix-up situation. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things that sometimes if you just guess right, you can basically take out anybody. I mean, we were commentating, obviously, Idom at EVO, and, you know, he was just right 99% <laughs> yep. of the time. James, so. all you got to do in fighting games is guess correctly. Yep, exactly. Just be right. Just be right. Just be right. Sounds and you easy. will have no problem in fighting games. Just read everything every one of your opponents is going to do every single time and you'll win. Oh, dang, just raw, okay. Go right in there. Minus two on block, so safe. Oh, what a confirm. Single hit confirmed. Mm. Oh, going Hoping to set up cross up? Yeah, that actually might not have been cross up yet. Here's OG on. Yeah, and this is what I was saying. You know, regardless of whether this is a bad matchup or not, Laura can Laura you, and it, once she starts that, it very rarely matters who the opponent is. It's just, can she win this neutral here? And Laura doesn't have the range on her buttons to compete with something like Jury Fireballs and Standing Medium Kick, and that might be one of the reasons why OG Yon wanted to go with Vega, who has the range, but obviously not the mix. Just gets playing very focused on a certain spot. It's like just outside of Laura crouching medium kick. Yeah, he hangs out there yet again. Yep, just that perfect distance right there. No reason to really press forward. He's winning. The clock is in his favor despite it. Oh, but wait. Fishing with that Taurus heavy punch. Finds its mark. Didn't check the forward. Command dash. Again, really holding on to that range. It's outside of elbow. It's outside of maybe just in forward fierce. Yeah, that is so he blocked. back to this range. Yeah, and you see OG on trying to fish. See, that's why he goes for those light elbows and such, because he's trying to bypass that standing medium kick distance. Because Just the Kid is so good at standing at that range. Oh, and then he finds his way in, catches OG on by surprise. I don't think this is going to kill, but he's going to have a big life lead now. And so he just needs one more tap. Oh, and there you see right there exactly what I was saying, the, the range differential between Jury and Laura right there. That hasn't been too bad for OG on to try that out. No, Just a Kid shuts it down right away. A chance for mix-ups, and Just a Kid is just really strong at that. Oh, well, here we go. OG on does have the corner. Sacrifice a little health to get into this position. Can take this still. Oh. Looking for the Thunderclap. Nothing came. 
And here's OG on yet again, really trying to harass. Oh no! Got baited by the neutral jump, quote Shimmy. And here we go, stun, no, this is gonna be a great position for just a kid if he can get the stun on a single hit. But what a chase down! Here we go. Woo, he was looking for the V shift, he was looking for backdash. Maybe he was even looking for button, but none of that stuff came. And just a kid will take the game. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, the way that you stated there, it's not a bad option to go for because it would beat a lot of things. Only thing it didn't beat was just blocking. And that is what just a kid did. All right, here we go. The Laura mix. Yep. Oh, and he dashed. He was expecting just a kid to backdash mm -hmm. there. He yes. was really hard read chase down there. Nice. Counter hit, Link. Just sets it up. I really like that as a choice. He couldn't punish. Oh, yeah, he saw it. He saw it. He had the preview on the activation. Oh, too far away for the throw. Just the kid walking backwards. And just the kid always ready every single time he walks backwards to look for the throw. And he has the punish almost every single time. So even, again, you don't have to be on the offense to shimmy. If you're minus two and walk backwards and they choose to go for a throw, that's still a shimmy for mm -hmm. you. Empty jump into whiff punish. So many different angles he has. <laughs> the way that jury looks like she's just twirling in place when she does that. Yeah, she's her movement's so cool looking. It's like snake-like almost. Yep. She kind of slithers forward in her dash. Oh, here we go. Plus counter. Just the right time for Ojeon to hit the button. He's got the life lead here, but here comes Just the Kid. He's got the 2 0 lead. Just the Kid has two match points. And here we go. Catches with the shimmy. Again, two hit button right there. Oh no. That's going to be a stun. And he's got uh, one, two bars to be able to finish this off. Doesn't even need the second one. Takes it. And you can see Ojeon, the disappointment on his face here, and almost kind of the what do I do frustration look yeah. on his face. Like, he knows that Just the Kid is like a demon for him, you know? Just hasn't been able to figure out how to beat him yet. Hey, buddy, I, he's been a demon for absolutely everybody <laughs> in this bracket all weekend because he's in Grand Finals on winner's side. I mean, we, I, I think in particular about that spot on screen he was hanging out at. He was glued yep, to that right spot. There. Yep. Glued mm -hmm. to it. And when he moved out of it, it was just very difficult to see it coming. This is an example of that. I mean, heck, uh, both of us being West Coasters, just a kid is a demon to us at Combo Breaker. Remember, taking out that entire West Coast team in the in the 5v5. Again, he is qualified for Capcom Cup for a reason. So, mm. he's in Grand Finals again, as we mentioned. We're now going to move down to the top four match. Is he, was he? I'm sorry, uh, what did I say? Grand Finals in Winter Side. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. So, is he, was he champion last year here at Frosty Faustings as well? Uh, let me look that up. Okay. <sighs> Because you mentioned that just Pokey got second place. No, I so. think it was, I think it was Punk actually. Oh, yeah, Punk yeah. was here it last was year. Okay, okay, okay. No, actually, last gotcha. time Jerry uh, just Kid got ninth place, which mm. I think he wasn't happy okay, about. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, so the losers match coming up next. We got Chris D, who again he told me that he hasn't made a big top eight in this way, but he's really made a great showing of it so far. As he continues to go through, Dual Kevin will be his opponent again who hasn't actually been beaten by any people <laughs> yet other than himself. Yeah, and just Pokey came really, really close, you know, who had, as you mentioned, defeated uh, Dual Kevin more often recently. And I really thought that just Pokey was going to advance forward, but Dual Kevin clutching it out there in that second to the last round in that scramble situation. <laughs> Put himself here now. <laughs> so I think this is going to be G again. I actually talked with Chris D about... Hey, if you have to play Duel Kevin, what matchup do you think that's going to be? Do you think that's going to be Rashid Mirror? He said, I really doubt it. I really doubt it. And it is yeah. G that Duel Kevin's walking into. All right. And it looked like he went with V-Skill 2 with G again? Or was that V-Trigger 2? 
Oh, it's V trigger two. Okay, so he's sticking with that V trigger two. It's very interesting because, you know, most Gs still go with that V trigger one, but Dual Kevin uh, showing some of the power of V trigger two. I really like V trigger two this season. I think it's really cool. You get combos that are some different routes than V trigger one. one. And of course, if you're at max right. presidentiality, you have some of the V trigger one capabilities right. anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, counter hit, fishing with that stand light punch. Gets in there with the command grab. Gonna take him to the corner this way. Whew. Already there. Oh, nice delay in the jump arc over there to catch the anti-air crouch heavy punch. So Christie's gotta find a way out of this corner. That trade will actually be great. Activation means that Dual Kevin can't take advantage of that V-shift. Wait. Excellent awareness by Christie. He's got Oki. Dual Kevin, of course, knows exactly what Rashid is looking for in that instance. Offense yet again. Oh, and he goes for the throw, and look at this. Oh, he tries to go for the, the okie doke, but unfortunately. Oh, what? it all worked out. Really? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, can he chase him down? No. That was an interesting. I don't think that's what Dual Kevin was trying to go for at all. Yeah. I think he was trying to maybe go for a rush. Oh, he got him with the crouching medium kick and the confirm. And it was an easy confirm because as soon as he saw Rashid start to swing, it's like, just do it. Just cancel because you're, he's not blocking, obviously. Right. Kind of a cautious situation there for Chris D. You can see him hoping to get a read on what Dual Kevin's defensive choices are. Oh no, too slow on that punish to the V-shift. Got the jump in though. Good jump in attack from Rashid. What a cage, but not for long. Dual Kevin finds the key. He's got trigger. Trade. Oh no, the whip punish right outside the range. He wanted to do heavy kick in the activation. Actually, no, I don't think he had the trigger yet. Mm, hoping to get out of what he probably expected was a grab, but Dual Kevin was there. So Dual Kevin takes the game. And yeah, Dual Kevin continues this loser's bracket run over here. As you said, getting DQ'd in the first round, meaning he has to play the absolute maximum number of games to get the grand finals. And he is working his way there. He's one game up. This is still two out of three because we're at loser's semis. So even though the last one was three out of five, we're at two out of three again. And again, the delay with that eagle spike there, stopping the anti-air. Hey, Chris is in. Here from upstate New York, he's got the corner. And he's been good, very consistent. Yeah. His anti-airs have been amazing. And he's, let's see how much meter he chooses to spend. Yeah, he wants the kill. He wanted, he spent everything that he got to make sure. Round two. Oh, yep, that's nice confirm right there. You get the counter hit, you get the link afterwards. Rolls to keep himself safe, and oh, there's that crouching fierce. No jumping out of the corner for you. Dual Kevin really holding on to that spot. Yes. Big damage and stun. Oh, oh he went for it. He went for the command grab. Let's see what he goes for this time. Oh no, he just missed the meat. No, actually, I think that was an early meaty and then tried to bait out the EX. We saw that attempt before. Yeah. It actually worked, actually, you know, his previous opponent. Yeah. Not here versus Dual Kevin. He, did, he didn't walk back far enough. He still got throw. Oh, what a oh. response! This time he saw it. Previously, Dual Kevin had jumped out of that on reaction. This time, Christy had his own counter reaction and it was perfect. There you go, look at this, tying it up one to one. Again, two out of three, so this is it. This is final game right here. And you see the crowd in the back, throwing out the Rashid, crouching heavy punches. They know it's a good button. Yeah, yep. Everybody, that button's been good since season one, man. Interesting that Christy has done so many eagle spikes that now Dual Kevin's actually not anti-airing for fear of it. Here comes Chris, he's got the corner. That's going to be a big punish. Yeah, but again, the utility of that has otherwise paid off. Oops, uh oh, that's that punishable. was an execution oh. error, but man. Went for a little bit too big of a button. Yeah, unfortunately. Ooh. God, that's 
buttons on G, the range. His buttons are so good. Ah, the little tax of crouching short. Because D would love to go in there. Sweep is the solution for Duel Kevin. You mentioned the buttons from G. Again, that's part of what I like about V-Trigger 2 is that you can turn those great footsies buttons into specific damage dealers when you have mm -hmm. Trigger 2 already going. And, you know, I'm talking about his great buttons. And he's going up against Rasheed, yeah, pretty okay? Good, pretty you good, know, Rasheed's good. got some amazing buttons himself. Mm. Oh, no. He threw out that medium kick and just got eight the jump in as a result. So, you know, you'll take that trade if you're Duel Kevin, but he's right back in there. He has gone to that so many times, and Duel Kevin has blocked it. I but that, again, that's part of why he's gotten in, too, because he's done regular jumps. So he's... Making it work in a way. Storm is coming. Oh, yep, there it is. Just like how you're talking about. Standing medium kick can't combo into anything else. Too but far. you've got that V trigger. Yeah. Oh, is this well. going to kill? Two light punches at the start. It's not enough. That's a big boy in a big tall hat <laughs> right there. <laughs> but no presidentiality. But again, not as much of a concern because it's not Zangief this time. But Duel Kevin can still take this with a nice combo here, spending two bars for sure. Would be able to get it on a strong confirm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he'll have super. Oh, there it is right there. Yep. 16 seconds. Oh, what a timing to jump for Christy. That puts him at match point. They're both there now. Oh, little do you know, PlayStation. This gameplay <laughs> is definitely being recorded. But Dual Kevin sitting on a bunch of meter right now. If he can get a hit. Oh, didn't read it that time. I think that I saw the command grab coming out from Dual Kevin. Mm. Oh, too far away. Not this time. Christy playing really offensive now. Really trying Whoa. to. Maybe it's supposed to have an eagle spike. I don't know. Duel Kevin gets a chance. He's out of the corner. Yeah, and good damage to activation time. And now, like you said, buttons can convert into a ton of damage. But heck, if you can find a button that's just normally cancelable. Oh, he tried okay, to bait He was really yeah. worried about mm -hmm. the 12 frame reversal there. Here comes Chris D. Oh, that wasn't fast enough. I thought that was going to catch the whiff throw. He and tried the air to air. No, he's too far. But Duel Kevin dropped it. But he gets the trade. This should be able to take it anyway. And oh my god, you can see it. Chris D face in hands right there. So tough to lose in a scramble situation because he had it right there. Actually, they both had it like at least three times in that sequence. But, oh, you can see it right there. Chris D knew this was his opportunity yeah. to get that win against Duel Kevin. And it just didn't work out. Oh, that is a tough one to lose right there. I really like a lot about how he played. It's a bit of a different style than many Rashids. You brought up how Duel Kevin blocked those Eagle Spikes and punished well. But those Eagle Spikes were also part of why Duel Kevin didn't always anti-air, which is something like, as G, you can basically do if you think that there's not going to be an Eagle Spike. So it, it was that kind of thing. It was some of the mix-ups that he went for. Even before this match, when we saw run into Eagle Spike as a blow-up against throws, it's just not something you see very often these days. So it's a different style, and I thought that was really cool. Hats off to Chris D in fourth place. Yeah, I mean, look at this. You were down two match points here and you still brought it back to the very last round mm -hmm. and then like i said a scramble at the end and you know as much as these players have been in this environment you see a lot of scrambles like that because they're both nervous sure they are both nervous and this situation right here look at this activation he gets the corner position this way standard situation but look at this had the opportunity oh just anti-air and a missed oh just what up? Yeah, it got a little zany there, but again, Duel Kevin with his experience comes out on top. He makes it into the top three. So the top three, you know that Justy Kid's already in grand finals on the winner's side. OG on and Duel Kevin will be Ooh. in loser's finals. Ooh, okay. And again, like I said, 
I felt like Dual Kevin was probably one of the favorites here to sure. be a challenge against a Just a Kid. Again, not saying, I mean, I keep making it sound like Just a Kid's got this, you know, whatever. No, but, no, I think it's right to say that he yeah. was the favorite. He's the number one seed coming in. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, how it yeah. goes. Mm -hmm. But sure, of course, Dual Kevin has that challenge. Of course. And we'll see soon whether he gets a chance or whether it will be OG on on the rematch. We're going to take a short break. Stick around. Again, and again, and again! Black Dahlia. Going down. Yeah. Okay, just stop. Don't break. I've got a job. Yes, ma'am. Time to start the party. Listen up, bunnies. This is Black Dahlia. Coming soon. The Dragon Ball Battle Hour is coming to Las Vegas on March 4th and 5th. Come see the finals for Dragon Ball Fighters, Dragon Ball Super Card Game, and Dragon Ball Legends to find out who the world champion is. Register as a spectator for free at the Start GG event page and score some original Dragon Ball goodies, like t-shirts, knapsacks, stickers, and more. Hitbox brings you new ways to take control of the game. Head over to hitboxarcade.com slash FFXV where you can order the Hitbox, Smashbox, and Crossup. Texas Showdown. With 20 tournaments on the roster for 2023, this is the event to be at if you're into anime fighters or great Houston food. Super TSB, featuring five main tournament titles. Exert, Strive, BBCF, KOF 15, and DNF Duel. Homebrew Haven, presented by Butt69 and the Moorhead FGC with $100 pot bonuses for all games. There'll be tons of side games like Smash Ultimate, PM Remix, Skullgirls, and many more. Turning Point, compete in Guilty Gear Strive, Tekken 7, or Super Smash Brothers, and prepare for one of the first big Street Fighter VI events of the summer. Paradise Arcade Shop, a leading source of controller innovation. The original all-button-thin controller, the first mobile fight stick app, the first short-throw cherry buttons, and many other cutting-edge controller innovations. MDF Magical Defense Force is a magical girl action comedy kinetic novel featuring nine chapters of a 24-chapter story and over 500 unique art assets. Don't forget to grab your official Frosty Faustings merchandise. With styles for everyone, you can show your pride for one of Chicago's longest-running FGC events. Frosty Faustings has Macharino pages for all 25 main games, with 100% of the money going to the players. You're watching Frosty Faustings 15. Here's our schedule for today.
And shout outs to everybody who, who always uh, makes the best trailers for Combo Breaker right there. Always love watching a lot of uh, FGC guys putting in the work there. You see like, you know, Esteban helping there, Zed, Tabani, Alex V working on the music and such. So very cool there. And that'll be taking place in May, of course. But we are here at the other Chicago major here at Frosty Faustings Top 8 Street Fighter V. Alongside, I'm James Chan, alongside Mr. Ultra David. Hello, that's right, we're now in the top three. The top three will consist of, in loser's side, OG Yon playing Laura, and for Duel Kevin, either Rashid or G, he's had success with both. Yeah, he hasn't locked in just yet. In fact, uh, you got, oh, maybe you can see it now a little bit. Duel Kevin was looking at OG Yon for a second there, and they're just kind of both chilling there. I'm wondering, oh, he's. Duel Kevin was thinking about it. He was like, what do I go with? What do I go with? Finally locked in the fist bump and here we go. Losers, finals, three out of five. Duel Kevin, OG on. We've got the Midwest, we've got the East Coast. And we're going into this. I've loved watching both of these players so far. Trigger two yet again, V-Skill one yet again for Duel Kevin. It's a cool loadout. Yeah, again, it's, like it's I said. It's not a common one. You will, mm -hmm. if you see V-Trigger 2, most commonly you'll see V-Skill 2, but I really like this as well. Yeah, like I said, it's just, you don't see a lot of players going with it. But again, shout out to the Street Fighter V balance team, man. They really made it so that for a lot of characters, a lo most of the loadouts are pretty legit now. And Duel Kevin just coming off with a fierce start here against OG on. Mmm, charging it up, at least forcing Duel Kevin away. Oh, oh he boy. saw you were not crouching. You were just walking forward and Duel Kevin saw that and was just like, <laughs> he, That man knew the frame that the thunderclap went away, by the way. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you know, Duel Kevin was one of the players who did play on Street Fighter League and you know, a lot of players have said being on Street Fighter League is like going into a hyperbolic time chamber and you just get so much practice and experience against such strong players there. Yeah, well, there's a couple of very strong players who are Laura mains and secondaries <laughs> who are from Cool Kevin's area as well. No longer live there, but there's a close relationship nevertheless. Oh hey! my god, the perfect distance on that! Oh, and then here we go. How much meter is he going to spend on this? Actually, none. Just goes for the meaty afterwards. And OG on trying to wake up with buttons. And like I said, you know, a lot of times people say, you know, you know the, 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 the meme is, why are you mashing and stuff like mm. that? But in Street Fighter V, wake up buttons is absolutely one of the options you have to have in this game. If you read Shimmy, that's what you do. Just like that already at max level. Not for long. Oh, nice. Chases down the V-Shift. Gets the stun himself this time. What's the big combo he's got here? Cool, building a bit of V-Meter on it as well. He's in the corner. And this is what Laura does. Like I said, once Laura starts to Laura, uh-oh, but once G starts to G. Oh, no. And with super, next hit is the kill. Oh! oh. Not single hit confirmed, but Chip. Actually, OG has got to be scared of activation right now. Because if he, oh! Oh, that's big minus, oh no. Again. It's relatively rare to play against somebody who's using it. I mean, it exists, but you may not know what the punish is. I think you can dash forward and press a button. What Duel Kevin's doing right now is he's chipping away at that life, and now he will die. He will die by chip damage from the super, which is what's making OG on scared of activating his own V trigger. Mm. He basically was just basically daring him, activate, and then I come in there and chip you to death with the super. And so OG on never got to activate his V trigger that round. Now back to this neutral here. And nice with punish right there for Duel Kevin. Gets the two levels charged up again. Mm, there we go. And now, heavy kick, finding his mark, checking. But you just throw it out there because uh, 
It's also a good long distance button as well. Same thing as Jury has those two hits, which means it can hit far, late, or quickly close. Blocking one more of those fireballs might mean V-Trigger. So Dual Kevin has really stopped it just like that. He turned it on. He's like, you're going to dash forward. I've got that check, but here we go. Ojeon has the activation now. Let's see if he can get something going, but yeah. Some characters have those great buttons that just go right under Laura's fireball like that. The heavy axe kick. I don't think it's what he was looking for. Hey! That was such a smart decision by Duel Kevin. It was going to beat everything, even block, because it would have chipped to death. I don't know if there was anything that OG Young could have did in that situation. That might have been checkmate right there. He had V-Trigger activated, yep. didn't have any V-Shifts or V-Reversals available to him. Yeah. What a decision and what, what, what situational awareness right there by Duel Kevin. Just he was like, you know what, as soon as I have that opportunity, Round here one. comes the super. Fight. Bit of a different start for OG Yon. Tried to dash up, but Duel Kevin was ready. Duel Kevin's been pretty good at checking. So there we go. We've seen OG on have some success, even against just a kid, by throwing out those light elbows and the towards heavy punch. Oh, but that time, Duel, I just said it, and Duel Kevin was like, I'll just be outside of the range by two pixels. Hey. Yeah, you see how that sweep of G's just really causes that thunderclap a lot of problems. Oh too far away fishing with that towards heavy punch. So mm. cool to watch Duel Kevin. His G, not just very strong, but a bit different than others. Many Gs still play for Oki on every hit. He is really leveling up the V system and then making it pay off big time. Or the presidentiality system, I should say, pay off big time. Ojeon had a little bit of a momentum right there, but Duel Kevin brought it back to neutral. Jan definitely still has the better position in towards the corner here. Oh, too far away, but throws our plus five on with, you know. Oh, again, that sweep. It's like I said, it's just been shutting the thunderclap down. And Ojeon just hasn't been able to take advantage of it, yeah. of the thunderclap pressure. Yon's oh, done a go. good job at pushing Duel Kevin back, but in each instance so far, Duel Kevin has fought well from there. He's not been overwhelmed. Great confirm. And I was, saw the dash forward first to know that the link would work. I was just about to say, too, that OG on has the life lead. We didn't need to press. But here we go. Here's the mix-up. Regular throw. Oh, God, that sweep These reactions again. are incredible. Oh, the no! That might be it. And it is. What a fantastic set by Duel Kevin. Although he's in loser's side, he's made grand finals, and he's done it again without actually losing to anybody except himself, having been DQ'd <laughs> and sent to losers that way. And now in grand finals, he plays just a kid. Yeah, and it's funny too, because like, again, we're all wearing masks in here, but you could totally tell Duel Kevin was smiling there as just a kid walks up. So we've got two players who are undefeated coming up against yeah. each other. Of course, Duel Kevin starting on the loser side of the bracket though, has to win two sets of three out of five against just a kid. Like I said, Duel Kevin was the person that I looked at in this top eight that I felt like might give just a kid the biggest yeah. challenge. Yeah. And here he is making it all the way to grand finals as you know, predicted, I guess. And, uh, but just a kid, we've talked about how much he has leveled up you know, throughout the years. And it's like I said, it's just, it's really cool to watch how strong he's gotten in just a few years here. You know, even going back to 2019 pre-pandemic, he was getting big results. Like he was getting yep. top eights, but it wasn't until last year that he started getting the actual big Ws. Yeah. And, uh, of course, he has continued that this year, having qualified for Capcom Cup. I mean, obviously, a lot of that help does come from the fact that, you know, Jury definitely got a lot of good changes and stuff like that. But that's happened across the board, right? It's not like, hey, you benefited because Jury got through. That definitive patch buffed everybody. <laughs> so many characters came out eating good out of that definitive patch, so.
Well, the last time that FGCombo.com at least knows that these two fought was actually in 2021 in the CPT NA Midwest. Oh, whoa. It may have happened since then, but the last time it did, it was a 3-0 for Duel, Kevin. That said, lifetime, it's only a 55% lead in win rate for Duel, Kevin. So super close, and we talked about how Justice really, really leveled things up yeah. and is at this point one of the best players in the world. You know, just a kid, a.k.a. Jack, as you see a lot of times, J-A-K. AKA Young David, he told me. <laughs> Looking at me, by the way. Young David. Young uh, David, he young wanted me David. to know, yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> hey, man, this was a good weekend for old men. Shout it's out, all good, yeah. Shout out for the Callisto yes. for ninth place, GBVS. Yes. Getting 13th place here in Street Fighter V is young, not, not as young David. No. <laughs> compared to Just a Kid. Still youthful, though. Really looking at just to get hanging on to a similar spot. It's right outside of G's easy buttons. And when he walks up a little bit, he then blocks. He's blocked all of these. Right. I mean, but the tough thing about it is still not quite the same as Laura because that heavy kick, the standing medium kick. I mean, G's buttons have ridiculous range. Sure. And Duel Kevin's doing a great job at using those buttons. And even that range just kid likes to be at to push him back. So just a kid, I like moving forward. He had started to get pretty close to the corner. Mid screen, Not sure pressure's what that in. Jump heavy kick from Duel Kevin was, but it actually cost him a good chunk of life, and now he has a deficit here. But he hasn't had the trigger activated. Here we go. Party time. Still no activation just yet. Just holding on to that V trigger activation. Just the kid manages to jump out with the cross. Look at the time. Look at the time. Oh, yep, still gonna get that hit. Look, that gray life is gonna matter. And it did, it hit. Oh my gosh, he tried that to go for shimmy. danger. I just a kid will end up skating through. <laughs> Love G's little time over reaction. He's like, what, really? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh, what a whiff punish by just a kid. Has to spend a bar to do it, but he's got plenty of meter. Might as well spend it. Oh god, that answer. That, that's nerfed too, by the way. That crouching heavy punch was nerfed so it wasn't as good at doing that. Mm -hmm. Level one presidentiality. I'm sorry. Is it yes, that's level one. I always forget, is Man, it zero whatever. one two or one Who two three? Who cares? Two? I don't know. <laughs> this is level two in my opinion. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't really don't know. Activation time, just a kid coming in here for the pressure. That feng shui engine activated. There it is. Not quite enough to stun, but just needs one more hit. There it is, the shimmy is gonna find its mark and just a kid taking game number one. Again, just needs to win the one set, get three games in there and he will be the Frosty Faustings champion. We talked about how last year he got ninth place at this event and how since then he's been killing it. Continues to look great. Again, that standing medium kick from Jury. Such a powerful, it's always been a really powerful move. It's just Jury's kit had never been strong enough to uh, make that standing medium kick effective enough. But now, obviously, like you said, Jury considered one of those just outside of the top. But again, there's a lot of characters in that yeah. area, so that's what's really great. It's a wide high tier. Yes. Ah. I mean, honestly, I don't think there's, a, a, maybe only Zangus can be considered low tier, but I think the worst you get is mid in this game. Doing a good job at forcing Duel Kevin backwards, but with that V Trigger one ready to go, he's just a kid either blocking low or active. Yes. Yep, lots of crouch blocks just in case. Not at the right time though, as Duel Kevin found the moment. Watch your toes. Here we go. All the jury Ooh. fans are doing that anyway, but just the kid's got to pay attention to it too. Taking advantage of that presidentiality boost in V Trigger one. See Duel Kevin going with the V Trigger 1 instead of 2 that we've been seeing. And now he has the life lead. And not much time. 
but watch out that v-trigger activation of the feng shui engine there we go oh he interrupts it that was beautiful so spins the bar to get the activation just trying to wear the timer down and he checks i love it i love it just the kid probably thought he was just gonna block and just try to stay very defensive but instead dual kevin on the offense a little bit taking that actively Mm. Oh, gonna get the cross up. Yep. Very few jumps, but he's had excellent timing when he has. It's an art, man. Yeah. Art reading when Again, to jump. Again, a lot of it is him at this range. Walking up and blocking a little bit now and Woo! then, but not at the right moment here. Dual Kevin finds it yet again. Yeah, good single hit confirmed, but we got the EX wake up. You see the quick rise from Dual Kevin. Oh no, the anti-air is not gonna find its mark. And so Dual Kevin is in the corner now. <laughs> Suddenly in. He plays such a slippery jury. Man. Oh, what? Wake up buttons in the command throw. Raw. I don't think that was supposed to be raw activation, but. It all worked out. Yep, here we go. All the way to the corner. Actually, is it going to spend the meter here? Is this going to kill? No, it can't possibly kill. Oh my gosh, it's so close. And just walk up jab. Walk up jab. It was not even a counter hit. So I'm not sure what it was that Just the Kid tried to do on Wake Up over there. It wasn't maybe, Wake maybe Up Maybe red button. command grab yeah. and tried to skedaddle. Hold up on that joystick. Round one. Okay. Okay. Fight. It's a chance for pressure and Just the Kid takes it. Seeing that it didn't pay off long term, he was trying to go back to that neutral position where, again, he's had some success, but we see Dual Kevin weaving his way through to that. Trying to slowly walk just yeah. the kid to the corner right now. Oh, too far away. I, I like the idea of what just the kid was trying to do. Get that V-break knockdown to push away from the corner, but he's managed to fight his way into the center of the stage. But again, Dual Kevin just slowly walking him backwards again. And that is the, the result of having better range with G than, than Jury. It's also just the kid's choice. He likes playing like that. We saw that in previous sets, mm -hmm. too. Ooh. And with her movement speed, we just saw. She can be in so fast. Yeah. Not my day. Yeah, without trigger. <laughs> you know, after that happened, Justin Kid and Dual Kevin looked at each other and kind of giggled <laughs> at that dash forward and the button stolen time. I always love seeing the player interactions in between matches. Oh no, bad confirmed by Dual Kevin. And look at this, Justin Kid coming in here. Oh uh oh oh uh oh, activation and here we go. Oh side switch. Okay, okay. I thought he was going to try to corner carry him all the way, but he says this goes for the side switch. His but jumps are so good. He's gotten out of the corner just by raw jumping so often. Yes. Mm. Awkward timing. Yeah. No more V-trigger. But just the kids is ready to go. So again, we see him playing at this range. He could dash in. He tries it. Oh, he does get in there. Okay. Oh, makes it out of there. No command grabs for you, just the kid. Now at tournament game. We saw him get hit for trying to jump out of a command grab, but this time he was correct. Command grab it was. He needs to hold that spot on screen. The implied threats of sudden forward movement, of jumping forward. He just did it again. The timings are so good. You know that G's got a fantastic anti-air set. And yet, right. just the kid is making it work. It's like I said, man. There's just some sixth sense that some of these players have. They're like, yeah, jump. No. Yeah. And it works out. Of course, there's probably a lot of reads into it. Of course behavior on what the opponent wants to do. Dual Kevin here down quite a bit. Of course, G has that ability to snowball. He's 
not quite there on the V-Trigger. He may be shortly. Oh, no, just get back off. Trying to deny that easy activation. Easy uh, full meter, I should say, four activation. Mm. Here we go. Dual Kevin at the bank. No, it's just a kid. Activation is here! Oh, Matt's this point. Tournament point two for just throws a kid. in a row. Round just two. a kid definitely in dual Kevin's head right now. Has all the reads, and like you said, I feel like so much of it has to do with just those raw jumps that he's been able to get. Been disrupting dual Kevin's neutral game so much. Slippery, slimy jury. Just slithering all <laughs> over the place. Manages to get in yet again. The little vacuum effect to the rescue. Oh, okay, okay. Dual Kevin with an opportunity here. She Red tried to jump away. He didn't combo off of the close medium punch. There was the V-Shift, and it did get just kicked out. He's got the corner. He's got super, and if the proper combo, he is on deck to take the tournament. Dual Kevin knows that. Yep, just get hit with a standing fierce and a somersault. Oh, wait, hang on a second. And Dual Kevin has this V-Trigger ready to be activated. No! Oh, no! Just an execution error! And you see Dual Kevin, he is mashing the trigger. He's like, why didn't this come out? Why didn't this come out? He tried to do EX, I think, and it just did not come out as the EX. But as a result, Just the Kid is the Frosty Faustings champion, king of the Midwest, Just a Kid. Continues to be not just one of the best players from this region, but again, as I said earlier, I really think he's one of the best players in the world at this point. I'm so looking forward to how he will do at Capcom Cup coming up soon. Oh, yeah. Fourth place at Defend the North not too long ago. Seventh place top eight at EVO this year. He got uh, first place again at CPT North America Midwest. So as you said, and I think you're right, king of the Midwest right now. Absolutely. Taking a look back here at how much control he often had. I don't want to read Dual Kevin out of this situation. He certainly threatened big time in some moments. Think back to what if he had done the EX, right? right. In that mm -hmm, last mm -hmm, moment, mm -hmm. like we could still be playing this. So he played great in many ways. Again, he had to do it without losing a match because he started out in <laughs> DQ. Uh, yeah, so. that was the first time he lost. <laughs> he right. should have had to be double eliminated. <laughs> yeah, today. yeah. No, no, not at all. That no, was his no, bad. No, no. Yeah, 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 for sure. But no. he played awesomely after that, all throughout this tournament, taking actually the longest path but for a bracket reset that right. you could take. And honestly, uh, he had some close matches too. Jess Pokey was right there to be able to defeat Duel Kevin, but he managed to clutch that one That's out. That's right, yeah. Got all the way here to grand finals, but again, Just the Kid is just the king of the Midwest at this point in time. If you want to, uh, oh, see right there that, mm -hmm. yeah, that was supposed nope. to be an EX right Unfortunate. there. Unfortunate. Shout out to Justin Kid for how well he took advantage of that. But yeah, yeah. you see he uh, knew, uh, right, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So exactly. unfortunate situation for Duel Kevin, but nevertheless, 3-1 victory for Just a Kid. First place for him, second place, Duel Kevin. Third place, OG Yon made an awesome run, really deep stab oh, in this yeah. tournament. Again, been a strong player for a long time. I'll see him at the third strike. <laughs> casuals later on. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and in fourth place, hey, hats off to Chris D. Again, he told me earlier that this was the first big top eight major that he had made, and he felt very happy about that. He played great. He ends up going out, as I said, at fourth place. That's an awesome result. Mm -hmm. uh, so fifth places were Marine and Cold Pipe. Marine's been in these moments before uh, and gets up to that yet again. Hats off to her. Uh, cold pipe. She's cool. I'm really happy for her. But yeah, cold, cold pipe. pipe with the Zangief. Oh so cool. my god. So yeah. cool. Yeah, Absolutely. and not just Zangief, but V Trigger Two Zangief. <laughs> Very fun to watch. And you could see great footsies on that guy. We're hoping to see more of that. Seventh places were Wash Your Hands Cody. I mentioned before, really strong Cody player, and just Pokey, as yeah. you said, almost took it over Dual Kevin to be further than seventh place. Mm -hmm. Didn't end up like that. Mm -hmm. It ended up as seventh place for Just Pokey. All right, and I think we're gonna have the medal presentation 
to our top eight players that you just listed through. Let's go to the stage. Where are you on me? Where, where, where? I'm not in the shot, it's okay. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your Street Fighter V Top 8. We're going to do the awards ceremony. We got Lizard Man up on stage handing out the medals. Up in seventh place, we have Wash Your Hands. Also tied for seventh place, Just Pokey. Tied for fifth place, Marine. Also tied for fifth place, Cold Pipe. In fourth place, Chris D. Up in third, we've got OG Yon. In second place, the man himself, Dual Kevin. And your Frosty Faustings 15, Street Fighter V champion, Just a Kid. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much. Top eight. One more round of applause for everybody in our top eight. Sick. Sick. Group photo. Let's go. Hey, there you go. Look at all the medal winners for Street Fighter V Top 8 here at Frosty Faustings. A pleasure, as always, to commentate with you. Oh, that of was course, rad. of course. Yes, it's the OG duo back. I mean, we actually don't get to commentate with each other all that often these days. So, you know, it's, it's always a pleasure. For sure, man. Always good. So, all like right. I said, I don't mean it when I say, I don't mean it the wrong way when I say I was hoping not to commentate with you. Here, I so, appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I'm very <laughs> happy with how everything turned out. I have no qualms or quibbles at all. Super, super happy with the weekend. It will continue. It's not over. Tekken 7 is going to be next. Stick around for that. <laughs>